Hello everyone, I am Elliot. I'm Johnny. And I'm going to be watching a mime. <laughs> we are the Super Gaming Brothers and welcome to our another game of Halloween Fest Limbo. We are playing it for the PS3 and this is quite a different game that we're actually going to play. Yeah, all you got to do is... Alright, now here's what we're going to do. Johnny's going to focus the camera all the way in the back room and then we're going to start doing the limbo dance. <laughs> Not that kind of limbo, Matt. Oh, really? No, no. Oh, I haven't lied to. <laughs> Well, be some severe mood whiplash if we decide to play a game of Limbo in the Halloween <laughs> Fest. What if it's Hell's Limbo? Well, we could each wear like a horror theme mask. I'll be Michael Myers. You could be Jason. I could be Freddy doing Limbo. <laughs> I'd rather be Leatherface. I'm uh, fat enough to be Leatherface. Oh, okay. Anyway, so here we have Limbo, a game which was released about a year and a half ago, I believe. I think. Uh, initially, it was only Xbox Live, but it um, eventually got released on the PSN with uh, extra features that were initially DLC for the Xbox Live version. So we're actually, you know pretty good deal here. It costs us 15 bucks. <laughs> but uh, I got this for Elliot because he wanted to play it and I figured, you know, make a pretty good game for Halloween Fest. Hey. We're actually getting some dark gritty atmosphere for once. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a noir film. Indeed. It so does. Elliot, uh, you've done plenty of practice uh, playthroughs, I'd imagine. Two runs. Uh, two <laughs> runs. Okay, well, this should be interesting. <laughs> two is more than none. Uh, you want to go ahead and explain what the basic premise of Limbo is? Um, pretty much you're this little boy, Nameless, of course. Nameless? That's a shame. You're, you're on the edge of hell, known as Limbo, and you're just looking for your sister. So, what, wait, wait, what is the kid doing at the edge of hell? What did he do to even get here? Hell if we know. Oh, that's a good pun, Ooh, but what I'm saying is... What <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't even, I didn't even realize it was a pun. And those are the best ones. But what am I saying, though, is that there's gotta be some... I don't think this kid may be that pure and to begin with if he's here, much less trying to get his sister. I have no Is his sister younger or older? I think older. I would imagine. No, uh, usually with these kind of rescue missions, quote-unquote, the sister is of <clears throat> a younger age. So we're so I have reason enough to believe a six-year-old found her way to hell? Eight. Eight. Oh. <laughs> An eight-year-old, she found her way to hell? It, it does make you wonder what exactly were the circumstances that caused us to end up here. So, uh... And ladies and gentlemen, just for uh, just to let you know, no, you're, uh, there's nothing wrong with the volume settings of the uh, <laughs> of your video. No, Limbo has no soundtrack whatsoever. Well, it does. It has sound effects, and sometimes there will be music in some points. It's very minimalistic. You mean like it, now when you say minimalistic in terms of Limbo, are we thinking like Tomb Raider, where you're over at one scene and then music starts playing and then fades out? Um, sometimes it depends on what what the scene is. Sometimes it will come out, and when you go to the next one, it just goes off. So if you meet Gilgamesh, does it play Clash on the Big Bridge? <laughs> I don't know. Do you even cross a big bridge? No. Damn. What is ooh, that? Ooh, bear traps. Yeah. How can you tell? Look at these. Can you can you run, jump into one for We're the helmet? Not doing a death run. No. Aww. There. Yeah. The ways you can die in this game, they are there definitely. Are, yeah. Ugh. Because of this game's art direction, they can actually get away with a lot of gory shit that they technically can get away <laughs> with because you know it's not graphic. In it's a sense. just a little boy and so the game's what? art style allows you to get away with some shit like that. I I'm curious as to what's hanging on that rope right there. Me too. It's like, a corpse. I know it's a corpse, but a corpse of what? Yeah. I'm going to assume uh Pokemon. Sonic no <laughs> Sonic's a hedgehog. Now there are Silver no <laughs> Now there are puzzles Wait, Silver yes <laughs> There are quite a number of puzzles that you can do in this game to progress. Like what, Rubik's Cube? <laughs> uh, fuck! I wouldn't even pick up the game. Not, if there not was that. that convoluted, Matt. I am that much. How would you put? How would you solve a Rubik's cube in this game if they were all black? That'd be really easy. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna cross a log. Your character looks like a shadow taking uh, on oh, the boy. Oh, yeah, you gotta watch out for those. That's one hairy boulder. So <laughs> nameless here. That's what we're gonna give him now. No, I know we're. I know we're going. We're going shadow after the heartless. Okay. Uh, nah, that's <laughs> too easy, Matt. Afro Heartless? No. No. Afro? How do you get an Afro? How, did, how is that an Afro, Matt? Sorry, I'm not good with hairstyles. It's either Afro or it's crew, crew cut. No in between. <laughs> anyway, Nameless here is a one hit point wonder, I believe. One thing one thing hits him and he's instantly dead. Yep. Well, given what's going to kill him, I'd say he has the exact amount of stamina that a 10 year old boy would have. <laughs> yeah, true. Alright, so we use this box. Well, crate, I should say. Crate! Swing. Swing and grab. Can you get impaled? Oh. No. 
Yeah, by the way, Matt wants Ellie to die. He really the way. does. Like, if it I happens, don't want you to die. I'm yeah, just wondering, can he die like Stop that? Stop lying out of your If ass. it happens, it happens, Matt. I'm not doing it intentionally. It's A or B. What I'm saying is, like, I just wanted to feel like you could fuck that up. But given you how some want people him would. to die. All right, now, I, I won't lie and say that I don't want to see a few, but, you know, if right. it happens, it happens. It don't, it don't. That was just a question that time. All right, yeah. now, before we go down, we are going to crush this egg. It now, looks like a friggin' game show buzzer. Why would, <laughs> why would, why would we want to crash the egg? Achievements. Oh, you whore. <laughs> and I'm gonna go after when they make sense. Do you know where all these eggs are? I only know two, to be honest. Oh, so two out of what, 75? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> two out of seven, Matt. So and let me get, guess, you, you gotta pay DLC for the other three. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, my God, not. Matt. But uh, I'm assuming then you haven't gotten the trophy yet. I, um, I got two of those trophies. So the, one, so, the one I just, so the one I just got is one of the trophies that I get. You see, Matt, uh, this boy obviously has a bit more standard than an average 10-year-old. That would have shattered my knees if I fell from that distance. <laughs> now, if you were to push that log in more further, you would drown to death. So. Yeah, because you wouldn't be able to reach it. Now, the controls for this game is actually pretty simple. Well, it looks for, for a very simplistic looking yeah, game. Like, I would doubt it would happen. I'd imagine it would. Call of Duty. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So you would need... These are the only ones you need. X to jump and square or circle to do an action. That's pretty much it. Mm. Whoa. Ooh. Ooh. All right, so tarantula? we have a... Uh, Giant spider. Giant spider. Remember eight-legged freaks? I do. This is one of the leftover spiders. I don't want to remember that. It looks like half a spider, really. Now, we have to do that twice so we could get that bear trap out. And how would you figure that out if you first played through? It was a demo. Cause, Cause like, well, actually when I was playing the demo, when he, when I heard like a metal clinging sound, so I went back and there's right. the bear trap. Then I, I probably had the volume too low for the TV because I didn't hear a clinging noise. Oof! Hey. I say that spider's taking it really well. I'm gonna try and do it again. <laughs> yeah, you might want to stay away after he got hit. That All right, so it's clearly one. lost two of its pointers at this point, but it still wants to do it. Hit points, yeah. Just one more. So you have to oh, miss. Oh, you miss! You have to lure it in. The, the boy has to lure the leg to attack, but it won't. But you have to get it away, otherwise it will actually attack you. And kill me. Yeah, it impales the boy. Yep. <laughs> so after three hits, he decides, fuck it, I'm and calls it a night. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I'd be surprised it took him three hits from the dude. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's move on. Going down. I, might, I still wonder how he's in limbo for some reason. You know, it's like... Didn't you just explain it? He was going here to get his sister no. back? Or, like, maybe he's probably, like, one of those post-apocalyptic kind of things. I don't know. Why are you slowing down? There's web. Is that what it is? Yeah, that's actually web. Because, look, our old friend's back. Your guy's doing a dance, though. Oh. I didn't even notice that. The spider or the dance? No, the, um, the dance. Uh. So... If we were playing the demo, that's where it would end. Looks like it's going to end for you now, yeah, anyway. for you now. What the hell? Oh shit. I've seen enough hentai to know where this is going. What hentai de deals with being trapped in spider web? You haven't been on the internet long enough. <laughs> okay, so that is our uh, LP of Limbo. Hey, we're not done. Ends with a cocoon. Oh, well, we're hatching into a butterfly? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have some time. Alright, so you have to escape. Yep. After a while, Exciting. it will go out by itself. You know, if we were an insect, that'd be impossible. <laughs> What the fuck? I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Determination. Thy name is nameless. Suck on that, Anubis. I'm alive in Spiderweb. Your argument's invalid. <laughs> 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 now, you can hold jump in this web so you can jump higher. So. Take that, World 1-1. Are you one. just tapping jump now? Yeah. Because jumping in this game is actually faster than, than running. Or really? jogging, I would say. Oh, shit. Dun, dun, I forgot, dun, that, I forgot dun, dun, I was there. Dun, dun, dun. That led to my death. Okay, well, that's death number one. <laughs> yeah, let's keep a death count, John. So. If I remember to, sure. <laughs> By the way, that wasn't an edit. The game automatically reloads like that. Yeah. It does. Alright, now let's push boulder. There are no lives in this game. No, unlimited lives. Oop, moving back. So, no sort of death. Well, the game r runs really heavily on trial and error. Right. Because... You know, the given given this game's really dark and gritty atmosphere, and the way how everything can kind of blend in after a while, mm -hmm. uh, you're prone to dying a lot. Yeah. So right now we are. This is like in Sonic. Sonic. I think episode four. Episode four. 
episode one. Episode one. Sonic Four, episode one. Yeah. Yeah, we're in Lost Labyrinth. So. <laughs> oh look, I don't, who's, I don't look remember who's a giant back. fucking spider being on Sonic's <laughs> trail. You didn't pay for the DLC. Uh, <laughs> God damn it! Why does it always go back to that? They just want your money. So I'm I'm pretty sure the spider cannot assess what he's looking at. And way to go, Elliot. I thought I would make. I that. think you fell into a bear trap underwater. <laughs> Damn, a bear trap in the water? <laughs> yeah. Well, why not? The farmer over there, the hunter is afraid of their new prey, sea bears. <laughs> Alright, I'm assuming because the boy doesn't have the strength to burst out of the webbing. No. How you're holding a giant spider web, that'll do that to you. I think it's because the web is pr actually pretty stronger than him, so. That was the boy's sea. But then again, you are the player's eyes, I would assume, so. Yeah. That would that be called yet. gameplay and story segregation. Say what? Gameplay and story segregation. How the boy can see despite having no eye, no visible sight. That's kind of like how Michael Myers can see in Halloween 4 when his eyes got shot out in, in Halloween 2. No, that was just bad writing. Now, how did that happen? <laughs> it looks like you, it looks okay. like you got, it looks like you're growing a tail out of your, out of your head. <laughs> shake it off, shake it off, shake it off. I'll shake it off in a little. But we, moving on. It's, exactly. ma it's a makeshift cape. <laughs> What the hell? Ooh, ooh. Yeah, it could get dark like that. That's Mr. Hangman. All right. He needed some new work after Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> yeah. Is that, is that an active bear trap? Yeah. Uh, well, how? When, when it falls on you, yeah. Oh, when it falls oh, on you. Oh, so you can walk on top of it. Okay. Yeah. When okay, it's, it's upside down, that's why. Yeah. Because I, I don't think a bear trap facing facing down would actually kill me. It would probably take out a toe or something. Wait for Horror Moon. <laughs> <laughs> Reverse bird trap. <laughs> What's that in saw? Yeah. Yes, I was. Okay. Dude, dude, dude. So what do you dude, dude, what, what, dude, what do you think, Elliot? Overall, of Limbo, kind of you know jumping the gun here a bit. But oh, uh, we'll ask for your final thoughts when the game's over, assuming you yeah. beat it. Uh, assuming we beat it. Assuming we beat it, we are gonna beat it. It took me an hour and a half to beat it. First time, or second time. Second time. <laughs> oh. That was my fault. Yeah, it's bad enough that you fell a, a fatal distance, but your head got impaled. Yeah. It's like a Sierra game. They want you to feel the fail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this this whole this head holds no bar. That looks man-made, though. All of it looks man-made. Funny enough, despite every piece of fiction and whatnot having to be claimed of some unspeakable, unthinkable horror, somebody out there fucking invented it. That's why it's on paper. Huh. Back a spider? <laughs> We've upgraded. Yeah, you had to hold on to it Something so that you up. could... Oh. This is what he was doing. Alright, I'm just going to assume... Um... His father. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you saw Jack was a bad parent. <laughs> except except the son wasn't crying. Oh, oh crap. Gotta go back. Watch out, smoke a wheel. Turbo Man! <laughs> <laughs> Oof, that was close. So, oh, moving on. He's dead more than one. The field's still on fire. No, I'm still alive, though. I could walk past it. No, I'm saying that they have more than one. Or they're putting all their bets on that one wheel. On... Uh, there's another Oh, they have more. Excuse me. Oh, uh, they have no idea that you got away, did they? They did. They did. That's why they went up. So now it's also a stealth game. <laughs> Eight-year-old snake for the win. I thought it was ten. Ten. The, the age keeps changing. <laughs> Eight, ten, what do you care? You still can't do anything. Then we'll go for the in-between number of nine. What are you? Uh, a this pussy? part. Oh god. Okay. This takes. Uh, ooh. Uh. <laughs> it grabbed your ass and your head fell off. Just like a ten-year-old. If something were to pitch my ass, my head wouldn't pop off. Well, the bear trap. You would say otherwise. I think I just screamed to death. <laughs> oh, these kids want you dead. Assuming they're kids. I don't even know if they're kids. Well, that unfortunate soul back there looks like to be a kid. Uh, uh, you bastard! Nah, nah. <laughs> you took the rope. I was gonna climb it. Oh, look, a tire swing. Damn you, Barry Burton. I'm suspicious. Why? Well, a tire just tried to kill you earlier. It could be set on fire, and we'll be trying to ride it. <laughs> it's a booby trap. Oh, what the hell? And apparently, we triggered a booby trap of a giant spider. The spiders are relentless. The spiders are big. Did you get shrunken? No, it's no. just that big. The camera just panned out. Oh. Uh. Zoomed out, I should say, sorry. Alright, we're gonna need the spider's help here, actually. Mm. 
So the spider is actually your friend? No. Uh -oh. Still wants to kill me. Oh, uh, okay. I'm sorry. Kind of misinterpreted that. Oh, a seesaw. <laughs> okay, I got it. <laughs> That's not the only seesaw we'll see in the game. He saw, he see, he saw, he conquered. And then he lost his head. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Multiple times. Shit. <laughs> what is he, like a Hydra? Ooh. Poor spider. Poor spider, I wanted to kill you. Oh. Yes. Oh, what did you do? Triggered a boulder. I see that. Oh. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> it actually took out one of its legs. Not his dang. Will it regenerate that leg when we see it again, assuming no. we do? No, it won't regenerate. So he's probably gonna get maybe, he's probably gonna get teased by the rest of the spiders <laughs> at spider school. Five legs, five legs. <laughs> Every what, guy, spiders are pricks? Every guy called Four Eyes in, in middle school. When you have five legs, you get teased about that if you're a spider. Mm. Well, this is actually the first time I've ever seen this game fully in action. You know. Well, what do you think of it well, so far? I, can, I definitely can give it props for its uh, artistic design. You know, because sometimes less is more. As, so, as the Charmin toilet paper has told me. <laughs> but, uh... Hey, look, he's back. He's missing all of his legs. He's dead. No, he's not. For, well, he, miss, he has one leg, obviously, but... A one-legged oh. spider, that's rather useless. Why does that sound so familiar? <laughs> Why does this look like Bowser? Ooh. Ow. Now he's dead. Now, now we shall make a house out of the body. <laughs> hey, Lord of the Flies. Was it Star Wars Episode Five? <laughs> no. Just saying, you ever seen Lord of the Flies? That's gotta be that's gotta be a really bloody corpse. It lost boys. all its appendages and now it's like <laughs> getting rolled around. Now we do this. That was just some really sharp grass. That's <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, a crow. And a corpse. Woo! No, no, well, Maybe yeah, he's just dead. So now we have to go up a ladder. I mean, I'm actually wondering what this maybe tribe is, or I don't know. You see, the the I think it's actually really a good idea that this game isn't very long because yeah, it's a very minimalistic looking game, and it's very minimalistic in terms of what you can actually do because it, it's it's about as bare as a platformer can get. You can go left, right, you can go, you can jump, and you can interact with environments. It, but if the game was too long, then it would get boring real quickly. Yeah. It takes I, no risks. After a while, you get tired of what you're looking at. But this game, it just lets you, like, it actually has you want to keep going going and see what happens. Yeah. I think I got that feeling once when I was wa reading that really big XKCD, XKCD comic, where it's basically the final panel was a huge ass, huge, huge, huge fucking, um... Oh, we actually got music going on here. More. What happened to him? You see that thing on his head? Yeah, it's an egg. No, it's a brain slug. Oh, I thought you got it's forcing egg. him to move left or right. Poor little critter starved to death. <laughs> we actually get music now. Well, I should say atmospheric oh, wait. music. Oh wait, I forgot. What? You gotta do something real quick. And target the corpse. Where you? Where were you on the night of April forty second? Forty second. We're not playing L.A. Ah, <laughs> uh, I can't wait for that. <laughs> so that thing is face up, right? <laughs> No, his face. No, his face down. Ah, <laughs> uh, the human wheelbarrow. Oh, that poor. You just used the dead corpse. Dead corpse. That's redundant. Uh, use the corpse's bait. Oh, look at it this way. He's got no use for it anymore. See? Look at that. Poor kid. Oh, that was a kid. I thought that was like a plant with something growing on <laughs> the head. As I was saying earlier, Limbo really. Is all about trial and error. On your first playthrough, I had you're no gonna idea. die a lot. Yeah, first yeah. playthrough, you will die, and it takes time to figure out what you have to do. Oh, oh shit! Oh shit! Look out, spitballs! <laughs> they're chasing after you. Oh. oh, well, they're not very smart. No, what the oh. fuck? <laughs> That's the worst tries people ever. I don't, sorry, it's like humorously morbid. <laughs> They fell into their own traps. They're dumb. I'm pretty sure it was them that set up the traps in the first place, and they run right into it. <laughs> I wanna put it past them. Oh, 
I mean, after all, you remember playing Resident Evil 4 and how often they found the dirt shit. True. <laughs> and in this kind of environment where everything looks the same, then, yeah, I guess you could lose track easily. Alright, now we're gonna need this cart real quick. Ah, uh, minecart carnage. No. Minecart man? We'll get to the minecart thing later. Oh. Uh -huh. Is there an actual minecart? Yes. <laughs> yes, there is. No is there a pair of monkeys in it? No. No monkeys. So we gotta wait a little longer for Donkey Kong Country 2 map. <laughs> uh, okay. Given how slow those uh, saw blades are rotating, you can still die. You lose your head. <laughs> you no. still die even though they're not moving? Well, I mean, you can get scratched to death and you lose your head. Oh no. Look out, giant equals. <laughs> I don't think you, I don't think those are evils. They're probably absolute value signs. That are plus. That are pipes. I see death. <laughs> now I have no idea what that thing is. That thing is porcupine. A uh, realistic hedgehog. Maybe it's a bandicoot. That's a Whoa! brain slug. Ooh. That's a brain slug. I am forced to go to the left. But if it hits light, then it, I have to go to the right. Uh, so that's how it tells you how the brain slug works. Yep. That's I'm, really arbitrary in a way. I'm against the I'm against its will. If I try to go left, it'll slow me down. And what are those? Brain slugs. No, no th those things definitely had teeth. So now we That's do this. That's not a brain slug slash onto your head. Oh, okay. See that helps, doesn't it? Can they bite your head off? No. Oh, okay. They're just there to get the brain slug off your head. Hey, something's nice out here. <laughs> <laughs> How deliciously depressing. Alright, we're gonna get into that in a little bit.